Scott Brown here, and today's exciting episode. We have the window guy, we have, we, everybody's here. Welcome to another exciting episode. How's it going there, Todd? Yeah, good, mate. Any love and laugh? Hello. He's doing some pulleys, mate. Yeah? yeah? So there's quite a bit going on here. Not only is Todd there doing all the windows, Rich and Pido here are sorting out the weatherboards. G'day, Rich. How was your journey? Yeah, good, good. I got everything I needed. So this is all the ripped down weatherboards and the weather groove that we've created. And because it's bare timber, we have to paint it. What's, what's the trick? What's the secret? The, the real trick is to wear uh, black whenever you paint with white. <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, you get so much knowledge. Yeah, uh, mate, when you've been painting as long as me, you, you pick these things up. Social distance interview, Pato. How's the weatherboards going? What? Oh. <laughs> so these weatherboards were the existing weatherboards. The guys sanded all these weatherboards and created weather grooves both front and back to match the sort of modern standards and managed to reuse them. And got some primer on there as well. You have to put primer on the back of them because all the new weatherboards come pre-primed so you don't have to. And that's just to seal the back, you know, if any moisture's in there, the timber doesn't soak it up. So now that the guys are getting right up there with the weatherboards, we can look at taking the ply off the inside of the walls and setting the windows in their permanent position. See this horn here? That's quite small. And that wasn't a problem before because the facing was small as well. They got away with the skinnier facings earlier because the balcony came out here and the door was kind of hidden within the balcony. So you didn't really, it didn't really draw your attention. But now the window is on the same wall line as the rest of the house, so the facings need to match. The current sill, and our facing is gonna be like this. So you can see that that isn't quite enough. Oh dear. It's a scary looking cloud. Completely wrong. Uh, I, uh, I, I did that wrong, completely wrong. I should have taken the angle off the weatherboard, not off the facing. You were probably swearing at the screen washing it, weren't you? It's not a screw up if you can fix it. Here we, here we go. That's a bit better, eh? What's that, bro? Just want to get them around, so I've got a line to follow. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Because I'm sort of meeting the two ends. We have to do these windows and stages. They have to come and inspect the head flashing that we put above the windows before we can carry on with the weatherboards above the head flashing. Fun and games. I'm um, way behind, Pido. Where you at with that? What time is it? Scott's selling those, by the way, everyone. Scott. Yeah, this isn't an ad, but look, I'm at like 10 a.m. You need to drink more, bro. That's not enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm about an hour behind. Yeah, this isn't an ad or anything, but it's a great way of making sure you're drinking enough H2O throughout the day. Start marking mine as well. You're, you're looking inspired there, Pato. I am. I'm very inspired. You're welcome. <laughs> How's the Vaughan compared to the Martinez, Richard? It's very light. I prefer the Martinez for like a couple of little ones, but when you've got to like nail extensively, lots of nails, yeah. then uh, yeah, I definitely prefer the lightness. Nice, nice. It's looking good, eh?
The preparation begins, eh? So bit of primer. What's that little stick you got there? Perfect tool for this job. It's an automotive little brushy thing. <laughs> nice. But it gets quite nicely into um, all the areas. Yeah. So this is just the primer, so I guess it seals the... Oh, it just the... helps the epoxy stick. It goes in there. So Todd here is helping us with the with the glue. I don't have any glue. Saving repair, the day. Repair care. It's kind of crazy looking. It stinks, bro. Does it? You couldn't get the good smelling stuff, Todd? Oh, that's the four hour, mate. This is the one hour. Yeah. The smell? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. that. <laughs> that it will stink out of house. <laughs> What's the problem there, Rich? Bad smell emanating from this area, uh, Scott. Yeah? Thought it might have been you. You would know all about that, eh, Richard? Just like icing a cake. There we just slide her in. Probably just put like a little pin in just to, so it holds Keep. it in place. Yeah. To just see. to hold it so it doesn't creep anywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Job done. Awesome. One hour. Done. Thank Ain't you, it. Todd. Thank you. <laughs> You're a champion. No worries, mate. You must have skill. Get the facings on, let that glue set, and then make sure it's protected from the weather. Good getting all the way up there with the weather boys. Still the slow part. Ugh. Me and Pato have a thing we call low perception, high perception. And uh, high perception is a day like that where all the weather boards go flying up. And low perception is going to be the next days where the scribers and the facings go on and the head flashings. Those are low perception days because it looks like nothing's happening. Whereas when you go and throw a jib up, for example, yeah. It looks like you're a superhero for the day. <laughs> this man's so old. Come on, you can do it. And I wanted to send a special thank you to everybody who have donated via PayPal and Patreon. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I greatly appreciate it. I don't want it to seem like I'm just taking it for granted. Um, all of it helps make these exciting videos. So yeah, hope I see you in the next one. Yeah. I'm thinking about just getting a squat toilet put in. Oh, real? Yeah. I used one once in Japan and I was extremely hungover and I, and I and it was the only toilet and I, and I was facing the wrong way and it was such a hard What work. do you mean? And then, and, well, I just sat, stood the wrong way on it and then I was like trying to figure it well, out. Well, in the middle of the room. So then the toilet paper was like behind me and I, was, and I was real hungover and then as I left and I got out and washed my hands, I was like, oh, well, at least I've had that experience. And I turned around and there's like a normal European toilet right there. <laughs> <laughs>